Good morning. This is Keller Land on the Go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your Sunday. We also have your boredom busters coming up, but first, our top story. The only state official impeached in the history of South Dakota will appear in front of the South Dakota Supreme Court this week. The justices will determine whether former South Dakota Attorney General Jason Roundsburg will temporarily lose his license. The disciplinary board of the South Dakota State Bar filed recommendations to the Supreme Court stating Roundsburg should get his law license suspended for 28, 26 months for misconduct during his time in office. Some of the examples listed by the board include using his title as Attorney General during traffic stops. Roundsburg is scheduled to appear before the Supreme Court on Wednesday. You can watch the hearing live here on Kelloland.com. Tonight on Kelloland Weekend News, we'll look back at the legal problems Roundsburg has faced ever since being involved in a deadly crash more than three years ago near Highmore. To learn more about the other reasons on why the disciplinary board is taking action against Roundsburg, go to this story here at Kelloland.com. South Dakota authorities have released the names of the two people killed in a crash near Salem last week. 72-year-old Gerald Snoozy of Del Rapids and 77-year-old Gilbert Scouchart of Spencer died when the vehicles they were driving collided on State Highway 38 last Wednesday morning. Investigators say neither of them was wearing a seatbelt. A rarity on the court occurred during Saturday's high school basketball games between Canton and Madison. For one of the few times in South Dakota sports, women made up the entire officiating crew of the girls' and boys' basketball doubleheader. The moment wasn't lost on one of the referees who's been officiating for 20 years. I've been doing this, obviously, for a long time, and I would say 90% of the gyms that I went to, I was the very first female official that had ever worked there. A nationwide shortage of referees has opened up more opportunities for women. Still, it's estimated that fewer than 30 women refs are working games in South Dakota. Skiing, snowboarding, and skating are not outdoor options in Sioux Falls this weekend. Great Bear Ski Valley is closed indefinitely because it's been too warm to make snow. Great Bear is calling it a temporary closure, but they can't rule out the possibility that they may be done for the year. What we want to do is just be able to make snow right around the clock, not stop. And then we can get some, you know, make some progress. Um, will it happen? I, I, don't, I don't know. Great Bear is on pace for its shortest season ever, having been open for just four weeks of winter so far. Meanwhile, the city's six outdoor skating rinks have been closed for the year since late January. Skating season was just one week long. But skaters made the most of their limited opportunities with 170 skaters hitting the ice each day that the rinks were open. Let's get a first look at the forecast now. Meteorologist Adam Rutt in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry, and good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful start to this Sunday across Kelo Land, and downtown Sioux Falls is a prime example of that. 25 degrees at the airport, beautiful blue skies above. We've had a great sunrise on our hands as well. Uh, not much of a breeze to speak of. In fact, East River, I think overall it is going to be mainly calm. And to the west, however, it will be a little on the windy side at times. We are in the 20s in many locations with a few exceptions out there. Sisseton and Nortonville at 19 and 18 respectively. Custer and Pine Ridge both at 17 and Valentine at 16. But we're already at 30 in Spearfish, 20 for Rapid City and Brookings, 26 Pier and 21 for Aberdeen. There is that breeze a little more prominent out west compared to the east, but still it could be a lot worse. So we'll watch as we have nothing to talk about at first, but there are changes on the way later this week. More on that coming up in your forecast. All right, thank you very much, Adam. Well, dozens of dachshunds took to the ice during Saturday's Stampede hockey game for the 17th annual Wiener Dog Night presented by Sioux Nation Pet Clinic. This year broke the record with 48 dogs competing. The dachshund named Letty ran away with the victory. You can park yourself on the couch or easy chair and watch a full day of Super Bowl coverage right here on Kelloland TV. CBS programming begins at 10.30 Central Time with NFL Slime Time. The road to the Super Bowl falls at 11 a.m. You are looking live is at noon, followed by the NFL Today at 1. The kickoff show is at 5 p.m., followed by game coverage starting at 5.30. Super Bowl parties open to the public are taking place at venues, including the Sioux Falls American Legion, plus Celebrate Community Church in Sioux Falls. Several churches are hosting Super Bowl events, including Shalom Christian Reformed Church in Sioux Falls, Riverside Church in Sioux Falls, and Bethesda Church in Huron. Adam? 
Well, we'll have that breeze that's going to kick up a little bit more as we head later into the day out west. But overall, it is going to be a great day to get outside. And we're already seeing that right now with little to no cloud cover in place beyond a small ribbon extending from Mulbridge through Bison up near uh, Eagle Butte and eventually over toward Butte County as well. It's the only blemish to an otherwise wonderful start to your Sunday. In fact, even as we zoom out a little bit more, there's really nothing to talk about beyond a few flurries up in North Dakota, some snow showers over toward Duluth and then in North Central Iowa, and that is really just about it. It's saying something where uh, you can talk about snow in northern Texas and eastern New Mexico but not here. If anything, we will get into the 40s for high temperatures. Although I will take 40s and sunshine over the threat for severe weather, like they're going to see south and east of Dallas this morning and then through the Gulf Coast as we head through the afternoon and evening. So it's a case of pick your battles here. Uh, we are going to stay pretty quiet for the rest of the day into the night. Monday looking good, albeit with a little more cloud cover. But by Tuesday morning, we could see a few rain and snow showers out to the west. That migrates eastward a little bit Tuesday evening. But Wednesday holds the first of two opportunities for a little bit of rain and snow that will try and come on into the region. Uh, the second one will come in on Friday, which will actually show as we go through a more zoomed out view, which will actually go a little bit further into time. So here we go through uh, the next couple of days. Again, this is a different view. We know about Monday and Tuesday with a few rain and snow showers. And then there's Wednesday system that will quickly come on in. We'll watch Friday as well as we have the potential to see a little more snow with a uh, developing system system that will mainly skirt down to the south, but we're going to see how much of that jogs up to the north. That's going to be the X factor. Keep this in mind as we go toward the end of the week, as we make it a reminder that yes, it is indeed winter. Even if we don't get much of any moisture through the end of the week, we do get in on chillier temperatures coming back into the picture by the end of the weekend into the weekend. In fact, we actually have odds for near to below average temperatures being a little bit favored farther north and west. Just not today, though. 40s across the board. Plenty of sunshine. Enjoy the day if you can. Lows tonight, mainly in the 20s. The rest of your seven-day forecast will stay in the 40s through Wednesday in Sioux Falls. Then we'll watch that Thursday, Friday chance for a little bit of snow in place. And then for Friday and Saturday, we'll go down into the 20s for highs and single digits for lows, which is where we should have been for a better part of January outside of that mid-month stretch. In Aberdeen, upper 30s to mid 40s through Tuesday. Snow possible Wednesday into Thursday. Some light snow at that. Then low to mid 20s for highs Friday and Saturday with lows in the single digits, which is average for this time of year. In Pier, we'll stay in the 40s through Tuesday, 36 on Wednesday with a few snow showers, a few more snow showers possible on Friday as well as you cool down to the 20s and low 30s by day and low teens for lows. Last but not least, we head to Rapid City, a great day today, 47, 44 on Monday, 46 Tuesday, but then you also fall into the 20s by the end of the week with a chance for a few scattered snow showers as well. Have a great day, everybody. For more on your local news, weather, and sports, you can always head on over to Kelloland.com.